Hello and welcome to your new JD Edwards system. This video is going to show you the basics of JDE. So to begin, let's look at the navigation bar at the top. The first icon here is your home button. This will always take you back to this front page here. So whatever applications you're in, you can always press this and it will take you back to the beginning here. The second icon is the navigator button. This will help you navigate through different areas. So if you go to Adnums, it will show you, for example, the finance applications you can open, the procurement applications you can open. The third icon is open applications. So this will help you manage multiple application screens and switch between different ones. The fourth icon here is recent reports. This is where you can view and print previous documents that you've had opened and created, such as purchase orders, invoice, general ledger posts. The fifth icon is your favorites. This is where you can view and manage application pages that you've added, which you look at regularly. So I've added one here is enter and revise invoices. To add favorites, you go onto the navigator button and follow it through to the process page, which you want to add. So for this example, we're going to use enter and revise vouchers. All you do is right click and add to favorites. This pop-up here will come up and just click add favorite and there it will be under the star. So let's open up a page and I will talk you through the different buttons. So this page here is to enter and revise invoices. This bar at the top is usually very similar whatever application page you have open. This button here is the select button, a green tick. This will mean you can select something or you confirming an action that you've made. The next button here is the find button. This can also be used as a refresh button. So I'll show you in this example here, we could search for invoices. We could enter a customer number here to search or to bring them all up and refresh the page. We click this button here. This will bring up all of the invoices on the system. This next button here is the add button. This will be where you're going to add a new transaction. So for example here, we're adding a brand new invoice. The next button here is quite self-explanatory. The bin means to delete. So if you've made any mistakes, you can just select an item and then delete it. This button here is the exit button. So we can close the page and it will take you back to the home page. These buttons here form in a row can be used for many advanced processes. You won't have to use them very often and in the test scripts or that you have on the system, it will show when you will need to use them. Again, similar with report and tools. These are mainly for advanced processes, so you wouldn't have to worry about them. The gray cross over in the right hand corner, again, will let you exit out of the page. So let's leave this one here. So we're back to the home page. Over in the corner here, it's got information about you on the system. So if you wanted to change your password, you just click in My System Options. From here, you'll be able to change your password and set your default printer. If I go back into another page, I can show you more ways to navigate. So if we go into non-stock and enter a revised non-stock orders. So over here, up at the top, we have another navigation bar. So rather than going through this long winded process again, we just wanted to change to a different bit. We can click on here and it brings up all the non-stock procurement options. On here, it brings up all of the procurement options. And on here, it comes up with all the admins options. So if you wanted to skip quickly to another application, you can do that on here. This small little arrow here is called your breadcrumbs history, very Hansel and Gretel. If you click on here, it will open up all of the different pages that you've been to recently. Another easy way to switch applications. So if we exit out here again, we're back to the home page. Thanks for watching.